fanny pack PFD for like years now and we've never had to use it because we're just responsible paddlers and we never get ourselves into dangerous situations, right? Um, so today I'm actually just going to test it because it's really old anyway, it's probably no longer safe um, and see if it even works. Uh, so you ready? Yep. Jerk to inflate. And like if I was wearing it, if I needed it, I'd be wearing it like this while I was paddling. So I'm gonna do it. I'm with gonna it stand on. back. <laughs> He's just a big dumb animal, folks. Go for it. Hey, it worked. <laughs> but then, okay, I'm drowning. So what do I do? Just grab. No, onto you it? wrap that little rope around you. <laughs> I, so I would just like get into this. Yeah. And be like. I'm so happy that it worked. Yeah, I'm <laughs> shocked it actually worked. With my paddle board, I yeah, came from out here. Um, I found a geocache. See it right there. I'm gonna try to get it. <clears throat> so gnarly. <clears throat> I got it. Bingo. Logged it. All right, now that we found the cache, let's head back to the paddle board so that Luke can have a chance to paddle. He, he droned me. <laughs> he filmed me with the drone. Ow, something sharp in my shoe. On my way over here, so that was pretty cool. But we gotta get back because the wind is picks up around here in about an hour, so I want to give him time. But here's my paddleboard. He's got it beached up right there. So I'm gonna head back out to him now.
here comes Luke. It's really fun paddling out around these islands. Can he stick the landing? position to do so. Land ho! <laughs> Okay, sink it in the hole. We're all watching. Noise. A little swampy here, little swampy. huh? We're at the Pine Beach picnic area. Well, we keep finding these awesome fishing places, but when we look in the water, there's no fish, so... Chicken and green beans. What, what would you, do? you used to say when you make pancakes? You'd be I'm like, I'm making mac and cheese. I'm making pancakes. <laughs> Alright, I have oil water first. Oh no, we have to set up the stove. Should I just try to use the induction cooktop and see how fast it goes? Sure. Got 100% on the battery. So I might as well test it, eh? Sweet action. Okay. Our Yeti has been so efficient with our relatively low power usage yeah, love this thing. that it's nearly at 100% all the time with only a 100 watt panel on the roof. Do you want to put your Apple Watch charger somewhere else safe for me? So we'll try the induction cooktop. And then, let's see, we'll just set it under there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna be in business. Okay, fill this bad boy up. 
with some water. I don't know how much. Doesn't put, really matter. Just put water in the pot. 114. Yeah, we have a 1500 watt inverter on there and it's using 922 watts. But it's also bringing in 69, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're still technically at 100% battery. <clears throat> It'll work out well. Much to Luke's disappointment, I found the can opener, which means... I don't like green beans. We can have green beans. I we don't can... like green beans. Yeah, but no one likes them. You just eat them because they're good for you. And you need vegetables and you die. I only like them in green bean casserole. Yeah. Green beans a la Tastes Tastes like bag. dirt. So do peas. Well, they're vegetables. What do you expect? They come from the ground. Give them a rinse. Yeah. So yesterday at this time, this parking lot was empty. Yesterday was Friday. Today is Saturday. Pretty much. Not totally full, but packed for sure. Still a few spots open. Ooh, it's making a, a burning smell. Maybe that means it's finally getting hot. Not boiling yet though, but I can feel it. It is starting to, to radiate some heat. Where are we at? Oh, we've dropped to 98%, still using over 900 watts, but we're inputting 73 from the sun <laughs> as we speak. Spoons of margarine and three tablespoons of milk. So, we get into our fridge, which isn't the most convenient at the moment, but it does work to get out milk. Someday it'll slide out too. And butter. But look, it is staying open at extra park level, so that's nice. Um, tablespoons. tablespoons. I do have a tablespoon this time for once. Alright. Now we're just waiting on the water to boil. Okay, I just checked in here and you see how it's steam? This bad boy's boiling. So, thank you, Sun, for boiling our water for us today with the use of the Yeti 3000. Click below, I'll, I'll, I'll link our Amazon affiliate to this device, this magical, magical device, which uses the Sun to power everything in our camper van. It sure uses a lot of juice. <laughs> well, it's almost done. All right, this is about done. The timer is going to go off any second now. Um, so we got to do the sample test. I should have it. I don't know. Might need to go for like just 30 more seconds. Okay, I turned this thing off and we used exactly 10% of our battery and now it's but it's still replenishing 74 watts from the sun as we speak. And if you turn off that button, oh, yeah. our it's output will right go to there. nothing. There. Oh, because the fridge isn't running at the current moment. Right. Cool. Okay. Going to oh good, the handle's not even hot. Going to drain this bad boy.
Luke doesn't like that it's cold. It got really cold because I took her off the induction cooktop to drain it. And then I took the, turned that off. And then I added all the other ingredients, which was like butter, milk, cold chicken, room temperature green beans. So I think next time I should just turn it down to low and then put the kettle back on as I add all the other ingredients. But I don't know, I still think it tastes fine. Yep. Turned out okay. At least the noodles are cooked. Except for the infernal green beans. Yeah, but they're covered in cheese sauce. Yeah, they still taste like beans. <laughs> Said to Luke, I cooked you clean, and he was like, I would have cooked instead. And would have left out the green beans yeah. that he ate so much. <laughs> but this is how you do dishes in a camper van. Our sink is small, but it does have some depth. We have soap, and we have scrubbies, and we have water. It's not hot water, though, so that makes it a little tricky sometimes. I do need to just get, like, a kettle to leave in here so we can boil water and have hot water at any time. Especially now that we know that the induction cooktop works as well as it does. Thanks, honey. I love you. Love you, too. <laughs>